Welcome back to D-Lab everyone. This is Terry. Yep, I'm still here. I've been running the shop now 100% of the time for a little over a month. No more corporate America. I just come out here and do my thing. So far there's been plenty of projects coming in the door. So I really appreciate you guys' support. This is going to be a success. So what I'd like to do in this video is revisit that 6CL6 little tube amp build that I did. It was like a two water built in that Heath kit cabinet. A lot of you really thought it was a cool concept, but when it came to building it, it was tight and difficult and finding the power transformer was also an issue. So I thought, okay, let's go back to that design, but let's find something that has a little more real estate that you can build in that also has a good power supply section already. And what did I find? These Monarch FM 100 tuners. So guess what this is now guys? Yep, it's a little guitar amp. Okay. So here she is, the 1 watt 6CL6 amplifier built in the FM 100 cabinet. So here's what it sounds like clean. I'm utilizing the 4 ohm speaker in this Champ cabinet. You bring up the volume, she'll start getting a little dirty. Keep advancing it and she'll get much dirtier. Which would make this a really fun little practice or recording amplifier. Okay, I'm going to pop the lid and show you guys how to build this. Alright, let's quickly review the cabinet. And you can see the changes that I made. So originally, here's what it looked like. And then now, you see the changes that I made. I removed the AFC slide switch, and that is where my input jack is. Had to add a hole for the volume control. And then the tuning knob actually became tone. The power switch was maintained, and this is the original knob. I just love that switch. Let's take a look around the back. Pretty much uninterrupted. I love this fancy design that they had on the perforated metal. These jacks do nothing. If you come over here, you'll see there's a couple RCA jacks. They also do nothing. But the last one became the output for the 4 ohm speaker. Alright, let's pop the top and the bottom and review the construction. Alright, same deal. So here is a picture of what this chassis originally looked like. So you see the tube line up, there used to be some IF cans, and over here between the power transformer and the filter cap, there used to be a 6x4 rectifier tube. Now I'm going to cut to my chassis. You'll see that I completely gutted the chassis, okay? filter cap is gone and that's where I landed the output transformer. I wanted to use the 6x4 rectifier but unfortunately when I got a hold of this unit the main power transformer was fried so I was not able to utilize that 6x4. I replaced the power transformer and it needed to be solid state rectified to deliver the power that I needed for the 6CL6. But if you get one of these units and the original power transformer is good, use it and use the 6x4 and then go ahead and build the rest of the circuit. You'll probably get a little bit more power than what I'm getting out of this model. So the tube lineup is two 6AV6s and they drive the 6CL6. This is the same thing that I did on the Heath kit unit. So some of you chimed in and said, hey, why did you use the two single triode tubes rather than just a 12AX7 to drive the 6CL6. It's because the intent of this project was to give you guys an economical solution to build a low power amp. So these tubes are about two dollars a piece and you can get a 6CL6 for about five. If you substitute it in a 12AX7 Check the prices, guys. They're like 35 bucks, okay? Which just blows this whole project out of the water. That's why I used the 6AV6s in this configuration. 
Well, here's the fun part, bottom side tour. All right, we'll start off in the power supply. As I stated before, I had to change out the power transformer, which was a real bummer. If you get a hold of one of these units and the transformer is good, then you can also utilize the 6X4 that sits on this little recessed platform. Okay, I didn't have that option. So then I utilized one of my D-Lab Cub 1 power supply boards. So my rectifier is here and hits the caps and goes on its merry way. This orange wire is the preamp power, yellow is screens, and the high voltage is going up through the output transformer to the 6CL6. The D-Lab ECBA board, which fits in here really nicely, saves a lot of time, as you can see. You drop in the board, you hook up your pots, they go to the preamp tubes, drives the output, my speaker jack is here. One thing that I need to point out on this build is when you buy your pots, if you look up here, you'll see that I have the small potentiometers. If you try to put standard pots in here, they're not going to fit because of this little opening between the chassis and the front panel. So you have to use the smaller pots. Also, to install the input jack, I did have to clip out a little bit of metal to clear the tabs. From the input jack, I used RG174 coax that feeds the first preamp tube. Then, of course, it goes through the board, volume pot. This yellow line goes and hits the second preamp tube. So there's your solution to build the 6CL6 amplifier on a chassis with more real estate and the bonus of a built-in power supply. Just get online, find one of these Monarch FM100 tuners, reconfigure it as you see here. If you need my current schematic, I'd be glad to send it to you. Just email me, but keep in mind, if you utilize the power supply, that comes with the FM100, the power transformer, and of course the 6X4 rectifier will not be in line with my schematic, but I'll help you guys and make sure that you're successful. And if you want to help me out, spread the word, tell your friends, because I'm still trying to get to 100K by the end of the year. So let's work together on this. Thanks for viewing.